Hi there, this is Chandler Rose, and today I want to show you how to give a loved one a back massage without a massage table. So, we have Adrienne set up here with a mat under her. You can use a yoga mat or a towel or a blanket. And then I have two rolled up towels for under her shoulders and under her uh, head. And when working on the back without a face cradle, you just really want to be able to support the face and using a pillow, you don't have a lot of room for them to breathe if you want them face down. So this setup is kind of cool because you can have your person experiment with one side versus the other and laying um, face down on the towel as well. So I'm gonna actually have her start face down if you're comfortable with that and I have her forehead supported and she's adjusting that which is great and then anytime during the massage if your person is feeling uh, they, that they don't have enough space for their face I would just encourage you to let them turn their head to either side and go from there so I'm going to start this by applying my soothing hemp oil on her back. And I also have her feet bolstered. You can use a pillow there too. And this is a really great way to give a loved one a gift without having to spend any money. Give them an easy back massage on the floor in a comfortable space. And I'm just going to start by opening up the back. And you can usually feel one side versus the other has more tension. And you can also experiment with how you want to sit. You can sit cross-legged. You can sit on your knees like me. Um, or perhaps you have a massage table and in that case you're standing. And most people comp complain of tension between their shoulders. So I'm going to give her some pressure there. Starting with her left side. I'm using some really organic relaxing oils that also help to nourish the skin and soothe the muscles. So you can use your thumbs between the shoulder blade and the spine. And I'm balancing on my toes. This is a good posture for yogis or anyone wanting to open up their feet. Just want to make sure you're as comfortable as possible and they're comfortable. And maybe after a few minutes, just check in with their neck and you can turn your head to one side or the other if you want that break. Perfect. And that's going to create some twist in the neck, but this isn't an advanced massage by any means. It's more just for releasing tension and helping with relaxation or sleep. So I'm going to go to the right side of her body and give her some pressure between her spine and shoulder blades. Common area of complaint back in that rib cage back there. It's also nice to create a warm setting. So if you're you want the back exposed, but you want the room nice and warm. You can also put on some really soft music or nature sounds or rain sounds. So when I'm working in here, I'm addressing some pretty big major muscle groups the rhomboids, 
in between the shoulder blades, the lower trapezius, the lats. Up above you have the upper trapezius. And you can always just remind them if they need to move their head to one side or the other to switch sides. Or if they're comfortable in the position they're at, that's okay too. And I'm just following her body's natural wisdom by working on the places that feel really tight and dense and congested. After a few moments there, I'm going to go back in to the left side and touch in on the traps. So the side where if they have their head turned, you can work a little bit on that, those fibers because there's a little more slack in those muscles. So I just have kind of grabbed onto those fibers and I'm pulling up almost like a pinch and coming back down towards the corner of the shoulder and down the arm a bit. If you're doing this for a loved one and they can tell you where they're hurting, that's also a really good place to start. Anyone that's willing to communicate with you about where they would like to be worked on is really good. And then you can work on each other. Doing trades is nice, but I recommend if you're doing that to space them apart. So if you receive a massage, you don't have to immediately work on someone. You can relax in between. Another really good meaty area to work on for the back and shoulders is directly on the shoulder blade. And there's lots of trigger points here, which I talk a little more in depth about that in my trigger point videos. But even just going into the shoulder blade with your thumbs and pushing down medium to deep level is helpful for shoulder, shoulder pain, frozen shoulder syndrome, limited range of motion, good for just releasing tension in the shoulder. I also like to make sure the elbows are in a healthy position so you can kind of adjust accordingly. And again, I'm just working into that shoulder blade. Those muscles are responsible for rotating the shoulder and supporting the shoulder. You have infraspinatus and supraspinatus that lay right on top of that bone, the scapula, which is that triangular bone that makes up your shoulder blade. And then just giving her a little pressure down her triceps, the back of the arm. And I'm going to have her turn the other way, just so her neck gets a break from that direction. You can also experiment with pillows too, or putting the arm up or down. side that she's facing that's going to give you a little more slack in the trapezius. So I'm just pinching those muscles and taking my fingers and thumbs down to that shoulder corner where that trapezius connects in. Also a really good technique for headache pain. A lot of times when you work on that area like that, this pincer palpation, they'll get a headache referral there, which is really common and normal and good. And I just like to go back and forth and loosen the shoulders. And that's a great gift you can give someone is just 
loosen their shoulders up. Start there and then if you get into it, you can check out more videos, more specific, specific videos for certain places of pain or common ailments. Lots of different types of massage techniques for different people. It's just about being open to the work and being able to receive it. And you want to see some flushing of the skin, which just means you're getting blood moving, circulating. So after I have her upper back nice and loosened up, I'm going to move to the lower back. And on each side of these tube-like muscles that connect from the base of the sacrum all the way up into the top of the back, those are called the erectors. And it looks like she has some tension in the low back. So I'm going to address those muscles. So in that area, it can be super sensitive. So you want to be careful to not go too deep too fast. I'm just going to encourage her to take some really slow deep breaths there. And just on either side of the erectors, which are these tube-like muscles, you have these little low back muscles called the quadratus lumborum, one on each side. So I'm going to give her a little pressure on each side of those muscles. This is very good for low back pain. It's also good for loosening the glutes and the hips. It can be very tight from sitting or from driving for too long. And a really good effective way to stretch it is to take your thumbs on either side. I'm gonna start on this side and I'll show you again on the other side so you can see it better but I'm pushing in towards her midline. And this can be very tender, lots of trigger points here. So you just want to stay at a level where your person isn't tightening up too much, but they're feeling like you're working something out. in on the midline which is pretty tender for her and for a lot of people this is a really good muscle to work on in women in women specifically that are dealing with cramps this is often one that's affected so helping helping someone out with that by loosening these muscles is such a great way to give them relief and give them some stretch in the low back and you'll feel some change in the tissue massaged tissue is more malleable it's warmer it's softer to the touch you'll see some rosy glow come from their skin and their breathing will slow want to make a change even if it isn't a drastic one and you also want to address the body as a whole so I'm going to go to the other side and do the same thing on the other side so this is where I'm going to be working on this side QL or quadratus lumborum so I've moved to the other side of the body here to address the low back muscles, specifically the quadratus lumborum, which you can find just under the last rib and above the sacrum or the hip. And I'm going to give her some stretch there. This is oftentimes really tight from any kind of stuck sitting position or traveling long periods of time. So going in with your thumbs, is going to give this part of the back a little stretch. 
just make sure you're breathing and your person is slowing their breath. A lot of times right-handed people will be more tight on this side. You'll really see it and feel it on the right side. But both sides are important. going to go in and hold different points along this edge, which is where you can access this little muscle. You can also just push in towards the midline and not glide at all. that are uncomfortable are often tight to the touch. So if you're working and all of a sudden you just feel some stuckness, usually you can feel that that's more tender, more painful for the person you're working on. So it's good to just kind of try to change that even if it's just on a superficial level. You're bringing fresh circulation to areas that are stuck because of postures or range of motion or overuse. So I've repositioned myself one last time to be at her head and that's just so I can glide down the back and connect everything we've worked on. It's really good to do somewhat of a cool down to every massage and connect all the parts, as many as you can. So I'm just doing these nice easy glides down towards her hips and out towards the corners of her shoulders. And then I'm going to have her lay face down one more time so I can touch in on her neck. And it's nice to just finish this massage with a couple last minutes on the hair and scalp. Thank you so much for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. With hundreds of videos that you can stream on virtually any device to help you reduce stress, lose weight, or just improve your health and well-being overall. At wellnessplus.tv, we are dedicated to helping you on your health and wellness journey. Join wellnessplus.tv to find hundreds of videos to help you improve the health of your body and your mind. Wellnessplus.tv. Get well, feel better.